In iOS 14, SwiftUI has a new way of handling NS user activity information coming into your app. For example, if your app's launched via a web link or via Spotlight or via Siri, you'll get an NS user activity for you to catch onto and respond to. Let's give it a try over in our app. It's a good place to handle this kind of thing because of course uh, you wanna route that somewhere else in your app depending on you know, what that user was doing or what the activity was. For example, you might wanna handle spotlight information. If you've indexed stuff in Spotlight, you wanna use it, you can do it right here. Let's give it a try. First, I'll do import core spotlight. Obviously, that's what I need I'm doing spotlight, but you'll need to be different. I'll make a method here called handle spotlight. And this needs to accept a user activity, which is some kind of NS user activity, like this. Inside here, you wanna go ahead and read the data you want from your activity, whatever your restoration identifier was. So in spotlight, we're gonna say if let ID is the user activity, oops, has a user info, with the key CS searchable item activity identifier. I'll typecast that to be a string, that's what I've stored in my app. If I find it, I'll just do print found identifier ID. Obviously that's where you add your custom application logic to show the right screen to route the request to the right place in your app. So that's how we handle Spotlight. And now to attach that to our app's content, we go to our content view and we add an on continue user activity modifier. And this takes an activity string and a function to call. Now this is really neat because it makes your callbacks really fine grained. You can say, here's the string for web URLs, here's a string for spotlight and so forth. So you don't have multiple of these things with individual functions rather than one sort of catch all function like you would have done with app delegates. So here I want to use CS searchable item action type. That's the callback name we get from Spotlight. And when it's performed, I'll just do handle Spotlight, like that. So call that method when we're launched via Spotlight. You have as many of these as you want with different kinds of activity identifiers, and they'll all be called appropriately automatically.